Good afternoon. Throughout the life of there has been significant misinformation given to the public. Brittany has been wrongfully portrayed by the state of Arizona and the press as being a predator and has even been called a monster. I have represented Brittany Zamora for almost 16 months and I can tell you that she is not a monster. Brittany is not a predator and this was not between a young child and Brittany. This was a teenager. Brittany underwent a psychosexual evaluation and she passed, she passed with flying colors. She is not a danger to society. There were issues in this case. For example, Principal Dickey refused Brittany's request to move the teenager out of the classroom. Brittany Zamora implored Principal Dickey to move him because the teenager had boundary issues and was obsessed with Brittany. I am not making that up. I learned that from Principal Dickey. All things that were outside of the evidence that probably you all received. The teenage family's attorneys filed the civil suit within hours of the issue coming to light to the police department. The teenager had two cell phones. He had multiple social media accounts for the same place. His family had Principal Dickey's cell phone number and would call him at any time they wanted to speak with Principal Dickey about his many many behavioral issues. I see some of your faces frowning, but I learned this from Principal Dickey during a defense interview. The teenage boy was very aggressive. He even was very persistent in asking Brittany about her birthmarks molars or anything else that could be an identifiable piece of information. This was before the authorities were contacted. Now I'm going to read you the statement from Brittany. Good afternoon. My name is Brittany Zamora. Thank you in advance for hearing this statement. After going through the court process for the last 16 months, I can truly say that I have been unfairly treated by the state of Arizona. It is shocking to me how others are so quick to judge based off hearing accusations from only one side of the story. It was made clear to me that the state had already made their decision well before I was given a chance to prove my innocence in any way, shape, or form. Even apt after obtaining extensive mitigation, completing risk assessment, psychological tests and evaluations, and polygraph tests, all of which proved the highest degree of character. The state decided to turn a blind eye to all. I feel like I was used as a publicity act to gain attention that was often driven by money, motivation from several parties. I am here to tell you that I'm not a monster the media has projected me to be. I am kind, generous, responsible, and a caring person. I have always proven to be a person of great character, working selflessly to help people in countless ways, from setting up programs to stop bullying, to creating fundraisers for people and families in need. I have an amazing support system that I'm very thankful for and I pray one day I can help others to avoid going through the same unfair process. I also hope that our society can learn not to judge each other based off the way 
that information is biased, biasedly portrayed, because I know firsthand how it feels to be viewed as someone that you're not. Thank you. That is Brittany's statement. I can tell you that I, as a criminal defense attorney, advocate for people who are charged with a crime, people who are wrongfully charged with crimes and wrongfully prosecuted. In this case, Brittany was not given a second chance. In spite of everything, she was not given not even a single day outside of the plea range that was initially offered. However, I'm happy to report that today we were very successful. She was sentenced to the minimum allowed by the plea agreement, and to that, to us, is a win. Thank you for your time, and we will not be answering any questions today. Are you guys really blaming a 13-year-old boy as a victim in this case? That's not what I said. That's exactly what the statement sounded like. Are you honestly saying that Brittany was the victim? You're just going to read that and walk away?